Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. Hunter's Point here with another video. I hope you all are having a good morning. Technically, it's still morning. So I wanted to get into this coronavirus update. Um, obviously, the article's from Zero Hedge. I mean, it's like my go-to for uh, these coronavirus updates. It's a brilliant website. I mean, I cannot speak highly, you know, any more highly of it. So I'm going to get right into this. The stocks have slid. Uh, as the CDC releases new U.S. case numbers as well as cases that are amplifying you know, further outside of China and many other nations. But the Dow Jones fell over a thousand points yesterday. It's the biggest drop in like two and a half years or something like that. Uh, the number of cases worldwide have far super surpassed uh, 80,000. I mean, way past that. Like, I'm of the belief that there's possibly close to a billion people infected. That sounds a lot more realistic than 80,000, doesn't it? You, I mean, you got to know the Chinese government is trying to make this virus seem a lot better than it really is, right? Because this virus is horrible. I mean, it's horrible. I've believed for the longest time that this is a precursor to the pale horse. Um, Italy has reported their seventh death and over 200 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Spain has reported their third case. Uh, the World Health Organization says that the outbreak is not yet a pandemic. Yeah, that's a load of nonsense, isn't it? Uh, I would personally call this a pandemic. I mean, when it's infecting millions upon millions of people, whether it's reported in the news outlets or not, it's a pandemic. I'm just going to say it now. And it could possibly be a pandemic of, like, epic proportions globally. Um, the White House is reportedly considering expulsion of Chinese journalists in retaliation for, you know, I guess China was banning, you know, uh, WSJ reporters. I believe that's the Wall Street Journal. I'm assuming that's what that stands for. Uh, I'm, I try not to keep up where, really with politics or any outlets like that. The U.S. consulate in Milan has temporarily halted visas. California has 8,000 under a self-imposed quarantine. Uh, the CDC has warned Americans against traveling to South Korea. South Korea's cases are just off the charts right now. It's exploded within days. I mean, they've got hundreds infected in South Korea. Um, and I believe I was reading something where, uh, like, some crisis manager in South Korea has committed suicide, um, you know, over fears of the virus spreading further. Italian finance man minister suspends tax payments in the virus hit areas. Um, first cases reported in Bahrain and Oman. Uh, the World Health Organization cuttles to China in statement. Uh, Wuhan issues order to loosen the lockdown, then U-turns, of course. Uh, I believe they're going to lock down even more. I mean, this is only getting worse. Do not believe anyone who tells you that this virus is under control. No, it isn't. All right? No, it isn't. Uh, if you believe that, I don't even know what to tell you, to be honest. Uh, the NHC says the outbreak is fading, though the situation remains grim. No, the outbreak is not fading. Uh, uh, seriously, this is a lot worse than people are reporting, I'm telling you. You know, I know Watchwoman65 has said the same thing, Pastor Tim. This virus is a lot worse than people realize. China's approved a crackdown on wildlife trade after the World Health Organization says the virus likely came from bats. Um, Iranian lawmaker says more than 50 deaths in Qom, I'm assuming is how you pronounce that, Q-O-M. Uh, officials say 12, Hong Kong bars South Koreans. South Korean cases rise from 60 to 893. I told you it was, it was hundreds in South Korea, and they've locked down a city, uh, Daegu, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, it, this, dude, it's only getting worse. I know there's been new cases reported in Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Bahrain. Uh, and they were cases that were not previously reported on. These are like brand new countries that are now reporting cases. So, uh, you know, I've believed for a while that this has been the beginning of sorrows. So it's important if you have not believed on Christ that you believe and receive the free gift of salvation, right? Jesus Christ promises everlasting life to those who believe in him, right? And when you believe in him, you're believing the gospel. The gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's that Jesus died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. He shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary to give you an opportunity at salvation. It's a free gift, right? And it's up to you to accept that by believing in your heart what Christ Jesus did for you. So I wanted to keep this brief. This virus is getting further out of control. So please believe on Jesus if you haven't today. I'll see you guys again later. God bless.